Okay, hi everyone. So today's vlog is going to be a little bit different and I'm possibly going a little bit off the subject matter of narrowboats but still slightly on it. Um, so if we go back a little while, uh, there was another YouTube narrowboat vlogger out there that basically made a comment along the lines of you, there's basically not enough space aboard a narrowboat to have a train set. So today's vlog not only am I going to disprove that, but I'm going to go and disprove that in style by firing up my steam train. Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through some of the controls. So on the front here, I'll show you, there's a little lever that's reverse and that way is forwards. In the back here, there's a little um, thing that turns and that's essentially the regulator so it controls the speed. You've got the safety valve on the top there and over here you've got a hole where you can um, fill up the water while the boiler's under pressure. So the first thing I'm going to do is to actually fill the boiler with water. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, obviously because it needs to it's fill through the hole that's um, basically you can fill it under pressure so while it's in use to top it up um, I need to use a syringe to force water in. So you do that by putting it into the hole like so and just squeezing it through like that. So if you look, when I squeeze the water in with the syringe just here, you'll see that the water level just here on the sight glass for the boiler will slowly rise up. And we basically keep doing that until it reaches the maximum level. Obviously you don't want to go beyond uh, the maximum level because then there'll be no space for the steam. So I'm going to say that's roughly about there I believe, maybe like another half. Yep, I'm definitely happy with that. So the next part of this is to fill the train with fuel and this particular train runs on methylated spirit. Now to do that we need to remove the burner from the bottom of the train which is held in by a small screw that you can just see down here but I'll give you a better view in a moment. Um, we then will light it while it's out of the train and then put it back into the train very delicately because I've never found a good way of really doing this. Maybe somebody out there can tell me how I should be doing it. Um, because obviously you can't really get underneath it to light the individual burners. So that screw that I was talking about is this one just here. So that unturns like this. And I think until it comes completely off. And we'll set that to one side for just a moment. And if you lift up the engine, there is the burner just here. So what we do is we open up the methylated spirit and we'll get a syringe full methylated spirit and we squirt it into this hole just here. Now this roughly holds about two syringe fulls of methylated spirit. Like so. So I'm not going to put the burner back inside the train just yet uh, because I need to light the three burners first. Now once it's inside the train you can't really get to it like I said earlier um, and obviously I don't want to really be lighting this inside the boat for obvious reasons so we're going to take this outside to the back deck where I have the track set up and then we'll light that there. So let's go outside. So now we're going to light the three burners and put it back inside the engine. that's all it. So this is the really dodgy part.
Okay, so now we need to wait for the steam to build up. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed watching my little train run on the back of my boat. Now you may have noticed that the track is pretty lumpy and bumpy and far from ideal for running this train, which got me kind of wondering, is there anybody out there with a fairly large or a decent sort of size or shape um, O-gauge track? And O-gauge I believe if I'm correct is one and a quarter inches, I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, uh, between the two rails that is. Now it'd be absolutely great to run this train on a larger track because I've never ever really seen it run on a on a nice sized la larger track and it's really suited for it um, much better than the tiny little track I've got on the back of the boat. Now if there is anybody in the UK who would invite me over so I can run the train it'd be absolutely great to do that and maybe there could even be a follow-up video on there if they were happy for that to happen but even if not I'd be like from my personal point of view it'd be great to run it somewhere much bigger. Anyway I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye. Ow. So we're going to go ahead and light the three burners and put that back inside the engine. Big. Obviously they actually light. So now we're going to...